this trip to the Banana Shire has been a real eye-opener for me with my newfound mate from up this way, Frank Smallwood. Frank had promised I'd be blown away by the natural beauty of this place, and I tell you, he was right on the money. In only a few short days, we've seen plane wrecks on mountains, crossed creeks and fish dams, We've seen the amazing sandstone country that the region is famous for and had some quality time around the old bush TV. Today, our guide Frank has us heading for Isla Gorge, one of the stars of the Sandstone Wonders region. So there are plenty of beautiful things to look at in your neck of the woods, but this is probably the most famous, hey, Isla Gorge? Yeah, it is, and probably the most famous because it's you know just off the Leichhardt Highway. It doesn't make it any less spectacular. I'm sure you'll agree, it's absolutely fantastic. It's a, again a peaceful place to be and just beautiful sandstone country. It's not recommended that people go down into the gorge, is it? It's not recommended. Uh, however, if people want to do their homework, they are able to, to uh, touch base with uh, a long-term resident in this area who will, would meet them here. Uh, and take them down a safe route into the gorge. And it, it is a fantastic experience. Okay, it's a spectacular example of what you've been talking about with these sandstone wonders. The, uh, uh, the gorge itself is beautiful and it's particularly nice at the moment, I guess, because we've had a little bit of uh, good weather over the last couple of months and it's really greened the place up. Yeah, look, it has, and it's gonna make some locals happy when spring comes around because of course, um, it was very, very dry when spring came around last year and we didn't get that beautiful bloom of the native flowers. This yeah. year we will get that. Well, that's Isla Gorge done. Let's head for another of the region's natural wonders, Krakow Beach. A beach out here? I don't think so. So for those people who think that um, it all looks the same out here, we're proving it wrong, aren't we? I mean, this is incredible, this place. Where are we? Yeah, we're at uh, Krakow Beach, which is around about 20 kilometres to the northwest of Krakow Township. Um, I know it sounds like a really strange term that we're in the middle of nowhere and, and we're at a beach, but this is where Isla uh, Delusion Creek meets the Dawson River. Yep. Um, Krakow and... Beach, far away in time, is it? Oh, absolutely far <laughs> away in time. Miranda Station has been producing Santa Gertrudes cattle since 1952. The Joyces are generational cow cockies who will very kindly allow us to camp beside the Dawson tonight on their land at Orange Creek Weir. Now tell me a little bit about the history of the pastoral lease. It's obviously been in the family for generations. And my family bought it in 1926. My father came back from India where he'd been working and took on the management in 1936. Then I took over the management when he retired to Mullaney. And then I managed until 2012 when I handed it over to my daughter and eldest daughter and son-in-law. And we've had a magic life here because it's... Yeah. Do you get sick of that view? Ever? I never got sick of it. I, I, I've driven home from work pretty well every day of my life towards that skyline of the Garanda Ranges there. Never get sick of it, no matter what time of the day it is, whether it's a early morning looking at the sun on it or in the evening with the sun behind it, it's always spectacular. We're heading to a location this afternoon which is on your property and this is available to people if they want to come camping. And tell us a bit about uh, about where we're going today. The spot's Orange Creek Weir. It's a beautiful spot in the river, fairly typical in that you've got a, access to a big water hole, palm trees, blue gum, red gum, tea trees, the typical environment along the river here. At our campsite, we're greeted by the local mob. It's a beautiful time of the afternoon on Guyranda Station, just me and my mates. Cold beer in the sunset. The campsite and good company on a night like this is the reason that most of us pack up and hit the road. It is the essence of what this camper caper is all about. Frank does love his cooking, and tonight he's decided to produce for us a damper. Oh, mate. Thank you. Did you make this? Yeah, I did. While you're out there looking at that sunset, special brew. Oh, that is really good. What's that? There's fruit in there. Yeah, we put some sultanas and raisins in for you. Had to be special. 
We've had a great time out here with Frank and it just goes to show that if you do a little bit of research and take the time to look around, you might just find an undiscovered gem. The Banana Shire is the place to come looking and yes, you very well may run into Frank himself. Head to sandstonewonders.com and the OQTA website will fill you in on all the info. Ariad boots are available at stockists around the country and ARB has all the gear when you replace foot power with horsepower. Thank you.